hello welcome to my studio this is artsy wisdom my name is diane and i am back in arizona i spent the summer up in canada and now i'm back in our house in arizona and i am excited to be here i've been traveling and it's been exhausting so i haven't even had the energy to do any reading so hopefully you've come back uh, I'm planning on doing some political readings today. First of all, I'm going to look into Biden's health. I'm really concerned about, I know his mind is fine. I just physically, he looks more and more elderly. And by the way, like two or three weeks ago, I did the prediction where I did see somebody bubbling up from Congress that was going to take over the House speakership. And it was very dense and very conservative. And this guy is exactly that. So it's kind of cool how that works out and gives me some validation that it's actually um, my my visions are coming true. Uh, and then I'm going to look into the Trump kids and they're uh, doing a deposition for in front of the in the New York fraud case. I want to see what th what will come of that. If anything, I my first instinct is them saying I can't remember, can't recall. I don't know. I wasn't there. And the third thing I think I'm going to look into is the Israeli-Hamas conflict and what will uh, happen towards the end of the year. And finally, number four, what is Harry going to do? Is he going to go back to England and stake some or put some roots back down in his country of origin away from his wife? Because we know she doesn't want to go there. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to use my cards and see where that is going. So let's get going. So first, Biden's health. I close my eyes and spirit shows me colors and light and I get an energy feeling. I have um, paper and I write things down on it or I just crumple it in my hands. But what I did see is a timeline and I see that it's very bright and light for the next three or four years. But I did hear 2028 ending. So Maybe that's just because his um, presidency would end if he does win again in 2024, which at this point, I believe the energy is good for that. Uh, but I do see light and light and then bam. So something gets over and I think, but I'm thinking about his health. I feel very, really good about his health. It seems like it's going to be fine for the next three or four years. Uh, I am not a fan of Kamala Harris. Her energy is um, odd, and I feel like she she's like vaporous. She doesn't, even though I know she was, um, what was she, a district attorney, attorney general of California, so she's very intelligent. But I almost feel like she's not, there's nothing to grab onto, and she says things, it's kind of like Meghan Markle, where there's not a lot of um, meat to what she's saying. It's all very good words. Word salad, word jumble, they're good things that she says, but they come across to me as unauthentic or uh, I don't know. It seems like her energy gets mixed, mished up. Anyway, so I was worried about him passing away or something should happen, health crises where she would take over. Um, and I just don't want to see that in the country because I feel like and maybe I'm incorrect. I've been wrong that she might. Um, do more harm than good for the Democratic Party, although the Republican Party's doing their own uh, poor business for themselves. Um, but Biden, actually, I do feel like when I'm squeezing this paper, I do see like a uh, year and a half, two years, that actually there's some healing that gets done, some green, I see some green. So that what that tells me, either he has a health issue and he recovers, but in a, a good way. It doesn't feel like he goes down farther. It feels like he recovers from whatever this thing was or is, will be. Um, and it, it, there is a green there. So I do feel like he gets, he does recover from that. And it's about two years. So it's post next election. Um, and then, yeah. So, but I do think he'll, his ending is near. But it's not like he's going to go and go and go and then bam. So it's not a winding down slowly slowly which right now it feels like it is but in my vision i just saw light and done so there's biden okay trump kids and the depositions 
magician came out. When I thought about Ivanka, who I picture first doing the deposition, she, I heard, she will lead and they will follow. Now, I don't know if that is the prosecutors are going to follow her as she leads them to, you know, more um, evidence of fraud or her, her brothers. It's more likely her brothers are going to follow her lead. That's right. And Magus is magician. And this is um, Mercury talking, Hermes, things moving quickly, information traveling. And somebody who is, and I picture Ivanka this way, where she's very self-contained in many ways. She does, she has influenced by her father, obviously, but I feel like she is very autonomous. I don't know if that's the right word very self-focused, um, self-preservation. Um, I don't feel like, even though the Magus is the magician and it's for her higher good, there's the moon. So there are some hidden things that, that she isn't going to talk about. Um, see the two figures and I see, and with the moon is you have to travel between the two. These are the things that get in your way or confuse the matter. These are the mountains, these are the entities that keep a person in the dark. So what you have to do is you have to traverse, traverse, travel, go through these mountains, these beings, these entities, this experience to get to the other side. So this is her and or her brothers trying to get through this quagmire or this gauntlet and here's the knight of wands this is very um fiery very active very fast so i'm getting trying to pass through the gauntlet pass through the fire to get to the other side she's going to do it as fast as she can it is she may also leave a fire in her wake um it, but I'm picturing her also burning papers. So maybe there was, she, she's not, she's leaving a trail of burning evidence. Like she got rid of it. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. She got rid of something. Or she's, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, an Ace of Cups. She's going to get to the other side and be happy. Um, for us, Ace of Cups is really positive energy. It's really a beginning of a renewal, happiness, emotional satisfaction. But for um, Trump, he, oh, here's the devil and the world. Um, the devil in this deck, this is an Aleister Crawley deck. It's a really, it's a very specific energy deck. He's an occultist from uh, early 20th century, late 1800s. And this is Frida Harris's, um, he hired her to do the artwork for it. This is the world. This is the beginning and the end. You can see a, a baby inside of, um, um, I don't know if it's Oris or uh, the Egyptian god. I can't remember. But yes, the devil. We know who that is. So he isn't changing. Trump isn't changing. It's his kids are going to go through the gauntlet. Okay, so I was asking about the kids. And they burn stuff up. I don't see a lot. My, my mind doesn't see my heart. The spirit is telling me they're not going to give out a lot of information. Very little. They're going to protect dad and themselves. They've already planned it. They've already got it done. It's in the past. Whatever the papers or whatever the things they had to do to mitigate their exposure, legal, legal exposure, they've done it already. So... Yeah, I don't see a lot coming from that. Okay, so the Israeli-Hamas conflict, which has been a horrible, horrible, tragic situation. So when I uh, sat with it in my mind's eye, I saw, or this has happened before, where I saw people in tunnels. More than that, I felt like this dirt, inside, like I was coughing up dirt. Like it was very dusty and dirty. Um, and this was like, whenever it just started to happening. So I don't know if that's still the case, but by the end of 2023, I also saw that they 
Israel, either the conflict is going to be two thirds, five eighths. This not satisfied isn't the right word. They've accomplished that, or the the um, hostages, two thirds of them will maybe half actually. Now that I'm hearing it, about half will only be released by the end of the year. So horrible. All the things that they've done to these people. It's just horrific. So when I pulled some cards, I have these Aleister Crowley cards, which are pretty awesome. And power and gain is what I pulled. And this is four of four of pentacles. And this is nine of pentacles. So Israel wants to dominate, dominate them. And they do have the capacity. They have the money. And they have the structure to do that. They want to dominate and get rid of them. Okay. There's an abundance. The emotional. There's a lot of emotional, obviously, investment in this situation. Because Israel is so angry. And the people have been so um, violated and horrifically treated. Queen of Wands is another fire sign. And she is also dominating. But she transforms that leopard. It was a panther and it turns, she transforms it. So they're going to have to shift. Israel is going to have to shift to a different mindset. I don't know if you can see the way it looks like we're looking up at her. That's how they feel. They want to dominate and they want to be in charge and they are going to transform the landscape of uh, Palestine, the Gaza Strip. Nine of happiness, more emotion. This is, a, it says happiness as a card. Nine of cups is a, one of, almost to the height of emotional satisfaction. So I do, if by 20, the end of 2023, they're going to have a good chunk accomplished. There's still going to be a lot of underground tunnels, a lot of missing people. But they're going to have achieved quite a bit by the end of the year. It'll go on till next year. I can sense it. Um, of course, I, I don't see it getting over very quickly. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. And they will. I, and I'm sorry to say, I think many of those hostages won't make it. The Magus. This is another magician card. He, uh, this is the Caduceus. This is the healing. This is the all seeing. The Mag, um, do you notice all the arms? It's kind of a crazy card. All the different arms, all the skills. They, again, it, from an Israel perspective, they're trying all the different angles thinking, um, spiritually, fighting physically writing communicating and it's almost to the point though where I think they're gonna well they'll never give up but it may they may hold on to it till I mean it's going to be a historical moment that they will all commit to as a memory memorializing this this um, horrific occasion this time so yeah not great news but it will start to wind down a little bit and it'll continue on next year but they will get about half to two-thirds to where they want to by the end of the year okay so what i saw was that he is not going to apologize he has been hurt he's decided that the media and his family um, have done him wrong and that he has to fight for some sort of um, right righteousness um, he is still on the Megan camp I noticed I know this from last I don't know a few months ago I did a reading slowly slowly they are going to become more and more independent of each other him and Megan uh, and it's going to take him a long time he's really committed to her so she, not so much, but he is not going to apologize and he won't give in. But what he does want to do 
is have his own children be a part of that legacy of the monarchy. And he doesn't want them to lose that. And he also doesn't want to lose his place. So he's really going to stake his claim. He wants to get a home there that he can go to because King Charles will not let him stay at any of the royal uh, residences. And I don't blame him, but I know King Charles is a very sensitive guy and he wants to um, keep his family together. So Princess of Wands, this is Page of Wands. This is communication, Quist, quick, swift communication. Uh, Harry is going to go back, so um, there will be something happening pretty quick, soon, soon. I'm feeling that it's going to happen really quick and soon. This is also another card of swiftness. So he is going to go back. He is going to find a place. And what I saw like last month or the month before was that they're trying to, he's trying to get to the kids to see King Charles or, or it goes the other way where Charles is trying to get from in the back, like in the back door, like getting them to come see him without the public knowing. And it's going to be a very... Um, sneaky or you know something that nobody knows about but Charles does want to see those children and um, Harry will show them to him but he's or let them visit but it's not because he wants to um, get reconciled with his father or his brother because they do not they don't see eye to eye right now nobody can agree on what the reality is so yeah so he's going to get a house soon. I would say, I want to say before the end of the year. That's what I heard in my head. And um, I don't know if, I don't think Megan will ever go back. I don't think it's going to be much of a long marriage. I know um, we all want them to be happy, everybody, but it looks like, her desires to be famous and to have money and to, you know, she used the the royal family as a way to get through, you know, to that. And he'll eventually see through it very well. But right now he's not. So he will get a place and that's the end of it. So thank you very much for coming by. I appreciate it. And until next time, love and light. Don't forget to subscribe. Press the button right here so every time I come out with a new video, you'll be the first to get it.